illegal migrants. The migrant crisis may be the reason why the Federal Reserve has to raise interest rates again. And I bet you didn't see that one coming. Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you are doing great. You know what's not doing great? The economy, but it is doing great. This story I'm about to share with you will blow your mind when you start to think about the ramifications of the economy doing well. Check this story out, out of Zero Hedge. March jobs, the jobs report, comes in red hot at 303,000 above the highest estimate for jobs as unemployment rate actually drops. And you're going, Ninja, come on, that means it's great. Remember, the Federal Reserve wants to quell inflation. And so they're raising rates. And one of the th ways to quell inflation is to take your job. If they cause unemployment to go higher, that's less people with money. I know it sounds crazy. Those people don't spend money or then the people that still have jobs get freaked out and they stop spending money and then inflation goes down, right? Well, at least in things like TV and furniture, but that pesky food and energy, blah, who needs that? It keeps going up, right? Because the Federal Reserve has not done their job yet. But check this out. When we're talking about illegal immigration, watch this. As we wrote in our preview, while big data hinted at weaker than expected March job print, the relentless influx of immigrants would lead to a hotter than expected payrolls number. Now, we, we've already seen companies like Tyson get caught. I mean, uh, they never did it. No, they were caught. Um, identifying migrants for workers for their plant as they're laying off Americans in other plants, all right? says here, sure enough, the illegals won again when moments ago the BLS, or Bureau of Labor Statistics, report, reported in March that the U.S. added a whopping 303,000 jobs tied for the highest since January of 2023. The number was not only hotter than last month's uh, revised number of 270, but was above the highest Wall Street estimate of 290. Remember, there are millions of people coming in over the border seeking asylum, rushing our border, no joke, actually rushing the border, pushing over uh, Constantine Wire and soldiers, armed soldiers, to get into our country. This is not a joke. The March number, which was revised substantially lower next month, follows two downward revisions following a 5,000 downward revision to February, to the February number of a positive 275 to 270, and a 27,000 upward revision to January from a positive 229 to a positive 256. What is perhaps more notable is that after several months of declines in, households, in the household survey, in March, the number of people actually employed finally rebounded, rising by 498,000. So now here, think about this. The entire nation wants the Fed to lower rates, especially gold bugs. They want you to lower rates. They want them to lower rates. They want cheaper monetary heroin. They want cheaper rates so they can go out and bid up cars, speculate in the stock market, buy up houses, okay? Fed can't do that. They can't do it. Now, I've said that I believe that they're actually going to do it. Even though they know they can't, it's gonna have horrendous effects, but they're gonna do it so close to the election, so close that they get people believing that, oh no, the economy's good. Look, uh, employment's up, which it is, right? Because we're counting multiple part-time jobs instead of full-time. Um, uh, all this other stuff's really good. Payrolls are up. Okay, that's good. And they're gonna say, we can lower rates, knowing what's gonna happen. They're gonna lower rates just a little bit. Inflation is gonna spike like you wouldn't believe, but it won't matter because the, the, uh, the damage will be done. The, the voters will vote for who they think is causing prosperity in this country. Remember, that's where our nation's going. If you vote yourself prosperity, if the voters figure that out, democracy's gone, the republic's gone, right? Um, it's a big deal. But the Fed knows the insane ramifications. And they're going to go, well, we're, and this is what Jerome Powell says all the time, we're data dependent. We're data dependent. Well, what's the data saying? Your unemployment's dropping, payrolls are rising. This is insane. And they're gonna have the right to go, okay, let's lower rates just a little. Because we know it's gonna cause hyperinflation on the back end. It's a big deal. See the patterns.
type one if you see the pattern you agree this is not going to end well turning our attention to the unemployment rate it unexpectedly dipped again dropping to 3.8 percent from 3.9 percent in line with estimates and the number of unemployed workers dipped modestly from 6.4 uh, million to 6.4 well 6.458 to 6.429 okay not that big of a dip but my point being is this we are seeing a moment right now where the entire nation as a whole, 95% of the nation is being completely fooled. They think things are good. That's why you see the lowest, the lowest buyers in the homes, the cheapest homes. These, this pool of people, I gotta buy a house. It's getting too expensive. They have no concept. While Warren Buffett and all these big billionaires are out, they're like, oh, we know. Hey, Warren, how you doing? I bet you're watching the channel right now because it sounds funny, but logic comes from the places sometimes that you least expect it. And that's why I've chosen this venue. I'm not joking. These are exciting times. I hope you get ready for this. But the illegal migrants are going to be a great excuse for the Federal Reserve to say, well, things are good. Let's lower rates for just a little bit. Oh, Biden pulled it off. Bidenomics. I'm being sarcastic right there. And then watch what happens after the election. The economic ninja is out.